Oh, it's 1.58 in the morning on a Monday, on a freaking Monday, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is that Construction Stories Part 65, Shack Sitter, is probably going to be among the best construction stories in the world. Reason being, things happen today. I am being very overexcited for no reason. What happened today? We all got to work. We all went through our basic rituals once we got there, which was stand around and talk. Uh, a couple of people went out and smoked. Some people sat and read the newspaper. Other people went outside, like me. I went outside because it was a wonderful day. The weather was glorious. Um, it's not usually typical of Washington to be a glorious place. But when the clouds are not among the sky, Washington is a glorious place. And so, if you ever visit Washington, I encourage you to do so when the clouds are not among the sky. What I'm trying to say is that today, when we got to work, the clouds were not among the sky. We all go out, we're stretching, we have a great outlook, we're like, man, it's going to be dry today. This is crazy. You look up and the sky is blue. And you look up and there's some white with the little fluffy white clouds. Oh, it was wonderful. It was fantastic. So we got to work. We started working and it was sunny and it was fantastic. And then we heard a noise. A rumble, if you will. And I was working on top of a pontoon. And there was a guy on the, another pontoon who was close enough that I could hear his radio. And the radio said, lightning warning, 13 miles away. Anything within 15 miles shuts down the work site. And we have to sit in the shack for a half hour. So it is like a wonderful day so far. And we're like, lightning? Really? <laughs> no, Really? But there was. There was lightning and there was thunder. And we're like, this is, this is weird. And I started looking around. <clears throat> the, to my left, the sun is beginning to set. It's downward descent, if you will. It is illuminating the amazing view that we have of Mount Rainier, of uh, Tacoma, of the sky, of trees and jazz. And it's just wonderful. And then to my right is a dark hill is water starting to be, get choppy, is these black clouds just looming, they're looming real hard. And it was weird because basically to my left was all sunshine and rainbows, to my right was Mount Doom and Mordor. And it was weird because you're like, wait, hmm, so we got a good taste of how Washington's weather is fickle. Because we all had to go in and sit in the shack, and within a half hour it had thundered and lightened again. One of those really big, scary ones that's super deep and like kind of actually makes things shake and you can feel it in your chest. That was kind of scary. And within a half hour it was straight up like hailing and raining, and the sky was just brown, not brown. It was dark gray and black, and there was rain everywhere. And so we basically sat in the shack for about an hour. Hey, what do you do? And <clears throat> and then we got back to work. And, yeah, it was just really kind of a bait and switch, because we're like, son, that's going to be... Gr oh. Anyways, aside from that, something else awesome that I think is awesome is I got to climb today, which is super cool. Um, I've been wanting to climb for a very long time, and I finally got to do it. Um, I did some like chipping and some cleaning and stuff, and then the super, he's not super, the foreman is like, yeah, if you get that done within a certain time frame, I'll get you climbing on the next one. I'm like, oh. And so I did my work super fast, and we go out for break, and then we come out and I have a harness and I'm wearing it and I'm like, man, this is so cool, this is awesome, and I have chains hanging off me and I'm like, yeah, chains, because chains are manly, right? And then we got out there and he showed me how to climb 
and then I started climbing and it was amazing because I've always wanted to climb those freaking walls because it's basically like a ladder times 12 and you're just sitting there like standing next to it doing your work and you're like because <laughs> you really want to climb it because you have arms and arms are made for doing things like climbing so I finally got to climb and I think this is the beginning of many climbing ex adventures experiences in jazz so yeah that's it I'm gonna go take a shower I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna go to sleep I hope you have a wonderful night YouTube individual Stay classy, San Diego.